Are you thinking about buying a house but you're not really sure how? Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Stella Calagero, broker associate with Coldo Banker and founder of Let's Talk Real Estate NJ. I've worked with countless individuals over the years who are just so new to the process and confused by the whole thing. Well, if that sounds like you, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of this multi-part series where we'll cover everything that you need to know about the home buying process. Come on, let's get started. Step number one, how much home can you afford? It's critically important that you sit down, you look over your budget, you see how much money you have in the bank to apply towards a down payment, what your credit card debts are, what your car payments are, maybe those student loans, write everything out. We do need to know what your debts are upfront so that we understand what kind of monthly payment you can handle. Once you have all of your income and those debts written down, we also need to make sure that we factor in what a home purchase cost is gonna be and what those monthly payments are. Monthly payments are not just your principal and your interest. We have to factor in homeowner's insurance, property taxes. Ooh, everybody hates those property taxes because they do tend to go up year over year. We want to make sure that all of those items are written out for us so that we could start working with a budget. If you're working with an agent, which I highly recommend, they'll be able to sit down and help you figure all of that out. Step number two, let's get that pre-approval. Before we head out and we start looking for a house that we absolutely fall in love with, we want to ensure that you can afford that price bracket that you're looking in. So it's critically important that you talk to your realtor about putting you in contact with a lender who can give you a pre-approval letter. Now, yes, that lender will have to pull your credit report in order to offer you a proper pre-approval. But without that pre-approval, a couple of things happen. Number one, if you do end up submitting an offer on a property, it probably won't be taken seriously without a pre-approval letter attached to it. And number two, it really gives us a realistic number of what we're working with as far as purchasing power goes for that home. Step number three, this kind of piggybacks on step number two. When we're looking at pre-approvals and we're trying to decide what it is that we can afford every month, we may want to at that point decide on what type of loan we're gonna be working with. Talk to your agent and also your mortgage representative about the types of loans that they think that you can qualify for because they may affect your purchase power. Step number four, let's fine tune that budget. So we just talked about how much you can afford based off of that pre-approval that you're going to get. But we do have other expenses that need to be taken into consideration. So what kind of down payment are you going to be offering? Is it going to be a conventional 20% down payment? Now, you may want to make sure that you're not spreading yourselves a little too thin at this point in time, because in addition to the down payment, you have other expenses with purchasing a home, such as additional mortgage expenses. Are you required to pay a point at closing? And we will talk about that in depth on a future video. In addition to that, what other lender costs are involved in that mortgage process? What are your closing costs gonna be? Now, if all of these sound foreign to you, don't worry, I'll be covering these in depth in one of my future videos. Now, let's move to step number five, and this is where the fun begins. It's time to start our home search. Work with your realtor who will identify properties that not only fit the criteria that you gave them as far as number of bedrooms, bathrooms, location, proximity to school, train, whatever it is that you're looking for. And together with your realtor, you'll be able to go take a tour of these homes and hopefully you'll find one that you absolutely love. Step number six, time to make an offer. Your realtor will certainly help you navigate through the offer making process and will take into account current market conditions, competition, so on and so forth. And with all of that information, we'll make it to step number seven, which is offer accepted. Now, this was just a brief overview of the seven initial steps that we need to take in order to start the home buying process. If you found this helpful, make sure to click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell to ensure that you don't miss out on any of this multi-part series. This is Stella Calagero. Until next time, bye.